Okay, so we just finished our pocketing portion. The next part is we have to do a bit change real quick, do one more touch off, and then we're running our texturing toolpath. Now normally we would run with the dust shoe, but in this case we're gonna leave it off so you can see the action. All right, so now that our texturing toolpath is done, the next step is just jogging the machine forward. We're gonna change the bit and then move on to our axiom inlay that we set up earlier. Uh, in this case, we're gonna change that half inch core box to a 16th inch straight bit. So we're just jogging this forward to make this a little easier. And we're using this 16th inch straight bit to give us some nice crisp lines and sharp corners for the outside of these inlay boundaries. Because we actually have two tool paths that we're cutting. Correct. Yeah, we'll do this first with a smaller bit and then we're going to switch over to a slightly larger bit just to speed up the clearing process and remove all that waste material. This was a half inch shank bit here, so we're going to switch that completely out. Because you have to change collet. the collet too, yeah. Yeah. So this, the collet just snaps right out. We'll click in the quarter and we can thread that back on the end of the spindle. Now with that in place, we'll go ahead and slip in our smaller detail bit for that inlay. So now it's just moving this over. We'll set that zero point again. All right, well, there we go. Now that it's touched off, we can go ahead and run that next file and we'll leave that dust shoe off so you can see the detail work as it runs. Let's do it. All right, cool. Okay, now that that's finished, we're gonna swap that bit for the lar slightly larger eighth inch spiral that we'll use for clearing out these inlays. All right, now that that's done, we'll touch off and set our bit height again, and we can run that file.
The spaces for the letters look great, but one more simple step really makes things pop. 